and to details. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli headed the weekly cabinet meeting at the headquarters of the new Alamein city on Thursday. The meeting tackled a number of files in several fields and followed up progress reports of ongoing projects of developing rural areas across the country within the framework of Decent Life National Program. During the meeting, Madbouli stressed the state's keenness on providing all necessary capabilities and credits for the project and exerting utmost efforts to accelerate its implementation according to the scheduled time with the aim of upgrading living conditions of 60 million residents of villages. He called all the ministers to follow up the project's phases periodically and remove any obstacles facing the executive process. The Premier stressed the significance of starting to implement the agreement signed with South Sudan and enhance joint cooperation upon directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and South Sudan's Vice President James Wani Iga witnessed on Thursday the signing of a number of joint cooperation agreements in several domains. The deals included memos of understanding of a project for studying repercussions of the flooding season, as well as boosting bilateral trade and industry relations. In its closing session, Madbouli and Iga signed the documents of first round of the Egyptian South Sudanese Joint Hire Committee. And to details, Egypt's stock market indices fluctuated, being bolstered by purchasing operations of Arab and foreign investors. The main EGX 30 index lost 0.25%. The small and medium EGX 70 index added 1.79%. The more expanded EGX 100 index added 1.22%. The overall transactions and dealings within the session reached 2.7 billion pounds.